seen a sea battle? No. Well, you're going to see one pretty soon. A battle? Then I better get dressed. Don't look. Miguel, I have other things on my mind for the moment. Who will be in the battle? We will. My ship's the Reckless and the Lady Bess. They're waiting for me in Maracaibo now. Why didn't you tell me? You've been a little critical of me ever since we started. English ships. Yes. Leach and his crew were sailing into Maracaibo, expecting to find a few cannon and an old stone wall. Instead, they're finding a hundred cannon. Stairs yard. Don't know what I'll blast you. Time up. You gone mad, you skirt. Quiet. It's an hour for battle. Crack your head for you. Put him down or break him. You lied to me about having a bride. What else did you lie to me about? Are your friends waiting for me in Maracaibo? Friends? What friends? I've signed with you. I signed and bound, Foxy Jamie. I'm sailing the revenge into Maracaibo myself, under English colors, with my own crew aboard. And I'm blowing whoever's waiting out of the water while they're still whistling and waving handkerchiefs at you. And what's more, I'm taking the gal with me. I'll not go with you. Better with you than Jamie, I promise you. I'll marry your fair and stick no sword over your head. He's safer out of the way now. Ah, no, not yet. We may be doing him an injustice. If we are, I shall want to beg his pardon. But if we aren't, I'll want to do more things to him than stick him clean with a sword. Come along, my gal. No, yeah. no, Thwarting me by giving up the ghost prematurely. Lady Margaret, my humble apologies to you for the foul antics of this gentleman who was once my friend. I assure you that every indignity you have suffered at his hands will be avenged. I'm taking him back to Port Royal and hanging him on the dock in chains. And there he'll dangle to brood on his crimes till he's stoned to death. Permit me to unfasten. I don't understand you, Henry, or what you've got against poor Jamie. 
I've been with him constant, glued to his side, and I've never seen him commit anything in the way of a crime except maybe a little weak-mindedness. He stole this innocent child from her parents' home, look you, and forced his will on her like a mad savage. That, sir, is striking at the roots of civilization. And he'll speak his apologies from the gibbet to this unfortunate girl and all her kin? He did not steal me, Sir Henry. What did you say? I came with him of my own will. You'll swear to that? Yes, on a Bible. He said I would like my company on a sea trip, and I told him I would be delighted to go with him. I feel exceedingly grateful to Captain Waring for his hospitality. The girl is mad? Captain, we've just finished the count. The pirates have suffered 200 killed, 70 wounded, and we've taken 130 prisoners. What are your orders? Hoist sail! I am going to take this mad woman back to Jamaica. Aye, sir. Well, we've had a nice taste of fun, Tom Blue. Aye. That we have, Henry. Nothing like it to keep your ears pink. Look, you. It wouldn't take much arguing to talk me out of Jamaica. Who wants to be sitting around stuffed with lace and a wig shutting the wind from your head? Look at that sea. Stretched around you like a barrel of gold ready to drop in your lap. It's the only life, Henry. Say the word and the Caribbean is yours. Captain Waring! Captain Waring! Clear the deck for action, Henry. Here comes the last broadside. Jamie, boy. You shouldn't be out of bed. Haven't you caused me enough trouble already? Get back to your bunk. Oh, Jamie, boy. That's only twice. Once more. I said three times. Jamie, boy. They're not going to leave me in Jamaica. That I don't know. I always sample a bottle of wine before I buy it. Come on. Let's have a sip to see if you're worth taking along. What? No bites? Here he goes. It's the end of the Spanish main.